I thank very much Mr. Pirinsky. He was uh, concise and said enough. And you had the um, chance to hear. Now you have the chance to ask any questions that you would like to. Uh, I asked the question to Mr. Vershbow, and I would like to ask the same question to Mr. Pirinsky. What do you think about the referendum in the UK, uh, about the uh, exit of European, uh, from the European Union? Do I see any hands in the hall? There is one question. I see the ambassadors of Algier, Brazil. Unless uh, I haven't mentioned your country, uh, please uh, identify yourself. And I apologize if I haven't mentioned you. I don't see more hands, but with these two questions, With the Ministry of Exterior, what are our expectations, Mr. Puryazov, um, from the summit, the Warsaw summit? Is there a Bulgarian proposal you're working uh, right now on, and we, the NGOs, are mobilizing our resources around? Well, Bulgaria is an active part of all debates and all uh, of, the, of, the of the alliance, uh, preparing the documents which are going to be uh, taken and agreed on in the Warsaw Summit, uh, the directions uh, of our uh, resolutions were uh, discussed with uh, Mr. Vershbau, so I will not go into details about that. Uh, our ambassador, who is among us, is um, a very valuable guest, but on um, um, this day uh, we are now preparing and uh, the documents, still preparing in a process of preparation, so I would like to keep it a secret. Uh, Currently, it's confidential yet, so let us try to be confidential, which is not uh, very, we are trying to be transparent, but on the whole, but uh, now let us keep conf confidential. So as far as I know, there are two focal questions. Um, one of the questions concerned the energy security of Bulgaria within the region. 
Uh, in short, in a few words, uh, without a doubt, the coming referendum in the UK uh, is very important to the European um, Union at the moment. And the discussion that is held uh, in the UK reflects uh, um, the European Parliament. And I would say that the majority of the members of the Parliament uh, are aware of uh, the fact that the exit of, uh, U of the UK would uh, bring uh, very bad results to the European Union. So, of course, uh, the country itself would not benefit from, from this exit. As it was said before, this is a question of um, a decision uh, th which the country should take, but of course, of course it concerns us as well as members of this organization. We can't stay indifferent to uh, this matter. As far as the energy uh, question is concerned, I would answer in, Bulgaria, in English. A, a, a rather extensive uh, question which I was not able to follow in all its aspects. But uh, what I would like to point out is that uh, for over a year now, as you know, uh, there is the new strategy which was launched a year ago for an energy union within the European Union. And one of the uh, very important aspects of that strategy is the regional uh, approach uh, and the point that the region of Southeastern Europe is much less uh, developed from the point of view of uh, energy infrastructure, of local energy markets, in comparison to Northern and uh, Western Central Europe. Therefore, uh, actually in the uh, European Parliament there is a uh, semi-uninformal intergroup between members of Parliament uh, from all over the Union, which precisely is looking at the Southeast European context and trying to uh, think about all those concrete uh, questions which you uh, posed in a way which would clearly increase the energy security, the diversity of supplies, the ability to generate energy supplies which are um, stable, secure, and competitive at a uh, competitive price permitting uh, growth uh, of the countries in the region. Um, therefore, I would be happy to keep you in touch with the development of these discussions, if that would be of interest. I'm sure that at your university you're studying these uh, questions, and I'd be happy to be in contact. Thank you. Any other response? I'm not asking anymore for questions, just for answers, if you have answers, because we are uh, ahead <coughs> the ambassador of Ukraine is here, so I cannot but uh, give him the chance to the ambassador of Ukraine. Well, I think Russia, of course, is uh, interested in at least uh, countering uh, the impression that it's been somehow marginalized or isolated. But I would stress that our, our strategy was never aimed at isolating Russia, but we did suspend practical cooperation because there simply was uh, no basis after the aggression Russia had carried out against your country. Uh, 
But uh, whether Russia is interested in making any constructive use of this dialogue remains to be seen. Uh, but uh, at the present time, uh, we felt it was important to convey clear messages to Russia, including about the full implementation of the Minsk agreements. Russia says they're in favor of that, but their actions on the ground uh, don't give us real confidence that they uh, are ready to, to do all aspects of the Minsk agreement for which uh, they share responsibility as a signatory to those agreements. But if they try to insist that they don't even have forces inside eastern Ukraine, uh, that uh, it's a civil war, then we're very far from having a common understanding of the problem, much less the solution. But, uh, but still, Russia needs to understand that the West is united, and I think we uh, succeeded in doing that at the NATO-Russia Council meeting uh, on Wednesday. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Sandy, and I was very uh, happy to hear in your introduction that uh, NATO is thinking of uh, what to do in uh, the North Pole because uh, we here, uh, we're very much focused and over-focused here in this region over the Black Sea, but the North Pole and the Arctic is uh, uh, equally and sometimes maybe even more important than uh, other regions. Having said that, I would like to uh, warmly thank our three uh, panel speakers, uh, Ambassador Sandy Vejbal, uh, Ambassador Puryazov, Valentin Puryazov, and uh, Minister uh, Pirinsky for their participation. Uh, and I would especially like to thank once again the people who supported the organizers of uh, uh, this uh, uh, Friedrich Ebert, Foundation Friedrich Ebert, Delphine Forsten, all these uh, firms, companies and sponsors. I'm very glad that we have so many uh, partners and also shipping shipyards in the, in the Black Sea region. Now I would uh, invite, uh, now we are going to have a coffee pause, but before that let us uh, Mr. Grigory Medyakov, as a moderator, take uh, things in his hands. Uh, Yuan Pashku, um, a deputy chairman of uh, European Parliament currently. Uh, General Lieutenant uh, Popov, uh, Xavier Dukavan, uh, and Konstantin Zografov from the Bouillard, and then the second part of this panel, the challenges uh, to security. We expect Professor Plamen Panayotov, uh, Deputy uh, Vice President, uh, up to 2005, when the agreements uh, with Bulgaria were signed, Lubomir Kyuchukov, Director of Relations, M Professor Mustafa Aydin, Jordan Bujov, the President of Sofia Forum of Security. So keep following, uh, keeping track of our conference. Now let us uh, thank our speakers for their participation.